Hey guys, in this video I've decided to make a our iPad stand cross cash tri, um, cash stand. Um, if you follow me and that sort of stuff, you'll sort of know that every now and again I do like a pop up stall with all my merch. And um, my girlfriend recently suggested that we should have some sort of a stand for the iPad to sit on and for the cash box to sit on so that it's not just sitting roundabouts being able to be taken easily or dropped or whatever so we decided to make one so it started out as like an alloy base and I just wanted to do like a pyramid shape so it was nice and sturdy and then it was I just wanted an adjustable height so that we can change it as we go and that was made out of some 30 by 30 alloy with some 35 uh, 40 by 40 alloy tubing which slides in and out telescopically and then what you see now is just a basic tray i was only making this as a basic setup to show taylor and she didn't mind so it's kind of ugly and unfinished but that's how we're going to roll with that and that's just welded tig welded to the main post and then we decided well it might be handy to hang some bags so i'll just fold it up some three mil alley sheet into a C shape and then TIG welded that onto the side of the post and that holds our display bags. And then we had one final idea was to hold some pens. I don't know why, where this idea came from, but I really wanted to make it look somewhat car orientated, like an, like an exhaust sort of thing. So I cut some small stainless steel tubing at a 30 degree angle to give it, give it that sloping look, tack welded them together at the tops and bottoms and folded a piece of stainless sheet well one mil stainless sheet for it to weld to and then I thought hey that'd be pretty cool if that could velcro on and off so that we could change the positioning or if it wasn't working out we could just rip it off or whatever so uh, the velcro just sticks to the back oh yeah I forgot to mention this is how you lock the hide in it's very basic it's just a m8 bolt um, with a piece of six mil stainless steel bar that was bent at an angle so you can crank on it to tension the height. So I found this Velcro one day at Bunnings and I'm kind of like been putting on everything in the house lately. I think I did it because a YouTuber had an idea of uh, strapping your hard drive to the back of the computer. So I did that and ever since, yeah, everything's getting Velcroed. So Anyway, what we're doing here is obviously putting one piece of Velcro on the piece and the other on the stand, and yeah, no more explanation needed there. And that's how the pens go in there. Uh, to clean up the alloy, I'll just use, basically just scrubbed it with some scotch light all in one straight line to keep it so the grain's looking like it's going in one direction. And um, I had a drill attachment some, from Super Cheap Auto to go over the welds and it worked really well as you can see. Yeah, that's about it. Um, that's how it's going up and down. Uh, the cash box is velcroed down. Not that it, it's just so it doesn't fall out in transit and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's not really car related, I know, but I just get hooked on trying to improve stuff with my stall and to make life easier and hopefully it saves enough time that I can get more time in the shed. And that's how the bags sit on there like that. And um, I've actually used it to watch a lot of my favorite YouTubers while doing stuff. So at the moment, I think I'm watching a Jacob X Peck video. And yeah, so, Hope you enjoyed watching. It's a pretty basic uh, entry level project. If you want to do something similar, please consider subscribing if you want more stuff like this. Peace.